This way, Mr. Dan Gregory. Thank you. Uh, Phobos, was it? Yes. God of fear. Right. Okay. Right this way. Ares. Demos. Right. What is it that you wanted me to see? This is footage from a mission that's happening now. Live. We thought it would be quite pertinent to you, for reasons I'm pretty sure that will become quite apparent soon. <laughs> Get into position. This is my old apartment building. Yes. We thought you would want to see this. I, I, I'm still not sure what we're looking at here. It's a live feed from a mission to take down one of the largest rebellions to your regime that is occurring right now. We tracked down their nerve centers due to using a series of informants and our divine insights. And we're closing down on, their, on the center of their operations. Cut the head off of the resistance. And we'll all be over. And we will be that much closer to expanding your authority and cutting off the life source for the human race. Mm -hmm. All right, but what does this have to do with my old apartment building? Are you telling me that, that the Rebellion's Union is located where I used to live? Yes, you see, we... Switched the locks and peepholes on all domiciles to the outside, and were using them as prisons. What? Well, how did you do that? We're gods. We can do anything. And, uh... So, what... So this is a prison now? Is that what you're telling me? Yes. We're using apartment complexes and delivery services to feed them and maintain them until the new camps are built by the Unicor. The Unicor? What's the Unicor? The Unicor is the slave labor force that was operated out of your prison systems. We've repurposed them to train inmates to building more infrastructure that will fit our needs. After the rebellion started, we've been arresting all those that we can and forcing them into the Unicorn, training them for specific purposes. Mm -hmm. We have a chokehold on all vital resources, fuel plants, electricity, uh, energy facilities. And they've been resisting us slowly, though assuredly. We've been closing in around them, and now it seems that the game is finally over. Once they fall... It will be a precipitous decline to the end of all resistance to your regime, Dan Gregory. Oh my goodness. Move up! We've got to move in! 
You're telling me all this is happening where I used to live? Yep. Is that my mom? My mother is leading an armed rebellion. What, Bethany or whoever, Aphrodite? Is that real? <laughs> Where's my gun? <laughs> oh, the hell with it. I think I got him. Uh, way to wait to do that. Hello, Aries. What now? I'm sure you're surprised to see this, as I am. Though Zeus has forbidden me to interfere with your exsanguination of the planet Earth, I am, however, authorized to ruin your fun, if you're going to ruin mine. I hope you enjoyed your period of one-sided glory, because your days of, of one-sided predatory glory are over. Your days of being assured that you will be a predator who will not have to sustain an injury that could end your career of destroying and harming others is no more. From th this day on, if you are going to destroy the planet Earth, you're going to have some stiff competition as you do it. Is it wrong that I want to fuck my mother? You're wrong, I am too. And to Dan, I know that in all of this you are a victim, though this is a game to my sons and boyfriend. If that in any way ameliorates your suffering, Life must continue, no matter how unjust or dishonest. I hope you reach the point of mental maturity that you may agree with this some day. And as for Ares and my sons, game on. <laughs> Great Zeus, Aphrodite. <sighs> That's really annoying. I wanted to be a one-sided predator that could exist with the archetypal absence of fear of any risk of injury to destroy my prey in the future. Seconded. I think we all wanted that, Father. <sighs> this is heinous. This universe constantly denying me justice, denying me... <sighs> Make sure that everyone has to sit there and be treated however power wants. And there's nothing, no matter what happens, it will always fail, forcing us to... Maybe we should just destroy the planet. No more stalling. Not funny... Not fun anymore, is it? Oh, great Zeus. She played us. She fought and played us. I'm not entirely sure I understand what's going on here. Victory is one thing, though it is behooven to a predator. Grivana! <clears throat> it is behooven to a predator. We're just going to pretend that that didn't happen, are we? Uh, I, I, go on. It is behooven to a predator to have not only victory, but dominion, to be able to easily destroy the prey. It is this that we call grace, that we, it is the reason why we call you your majesty. This is what allows a predator's existence. Could a predator kill its prey, but not easily, they would never have lasted this long. This is something that must be re repeated systematically, repetitively, with ease, without mistake. And Aphrodite has ruined that part of our structure of attack. Now, it's lost the luster that I've seen in it when I first came to this world. She has succeeded in ruining our fun, and I'm thinking we should just be done with this place and destroy it and return to 
the Alcedion way station. There is another way. No, son. You don't know what it's like to fight your mother. I do. This is from before your time. Even if we win, uh, what's the point? I don't get laid on top of that. <laughs> no, thank you. Yes, before my time. But now you have me. So? Your flaw in battle is often that your mind lacks robustness and able to ability to comprehend the ways of your opponent. Uh, not following you here. The ways of Aphrodite have often been mysterious to you. Oh, oh you sure got that right. But now, I am here. Both we, myself and Demos, are sons of Aphrodite, and of you. I am enough like her to give you the edge that you never had. We can still win. And one-sidedly as you had hoped. Feels insulting, but very well. What is your plan, Phobos? Demos, if you have any ideas. Um, Aphrodite intends to use the permission that mortals give each other to abuse them to those to certain groups with authority, particularly now those who are to, the, to which they were born. Let us revoke that, using the one thing that Aphrodite dare not contemplate or confront, that there is no love on this planet. Only a devotion to authority, which Daniel Gregory now will be our means to access and have control over. <clears throat> nope, not following you. Mother once said that love means never having to say that you're sorry. So? Let's change that. Mm -hmm. I will admit I will not have I would not have thought of that, but for good reason. It would be a pain in my fanny to learn about love and all that jazz now. Uh, that's why your mother has power over it, and not me. Yes, and I am part the god of love. I am part Aphrodite. And the love here is false. Everything they do, from what they do with their lives, to the words they speak or don't speak, to how they die, to how they live, to, to who they mate with and what not, is entirely revolves around power. And that is why we still have a chance. With Dan Gregory, we can control what mortals call love. And that's our, that will be our tactic against Aphrodite. Well, Phobos, your performance against Athena has impressed me. And seeing that you seem to be on top of things here, I will put you in charge of the, of the Aphrodite task force. And I hope to see you uh, deliver a tremendous victory for us in the exsanguination of Earth. I'm curious to see what you two boys come up with. Right. Mm, mm, mm. What? Dad put you in charge? Whoa, what about me? What about me? Dan, your role in all this will be to take the symbolism, as your very name has changed with authority. So does their ability to torment one another, and to oppress each other. Your power to uh, manipulate this, the symbolism and the environment of human beings will affect their mind. It will affect what comes easily, just as you forgot your name. Mortal kind can be forced to give up the consent that the strong have the right to dominate the weak, and with that, an outrage and an outcry will occur that will result in the most violent event 
to ever occur in the history of mortal kind. Ah, oh, sweet! This is what you will do. Mm -hmm.